Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is a Hint Beauty first impressions video. I recently ordered the Duet Perfecting Concealer Sample Set in Medium and Tan, the Eyebrow Definer in Cream to Powder in the color Espresso, and they sent a lip gloss in Un Femme Mauve. Now these are the concealers and what they look like in the sample set. I really appreciate the fact that they give two shades because it really helps you know before you order a full size which is going to be closer to your skin. Now as you can see the tan was far too dark for my skin tone and the medium is actually really perfect, very warm for my shade of skin and I really like what it does on my face. Um, all of the products that I purchased from them are certified vegan by PETA, which is wonderful. They have a very low rating on the EWG scale. They use really high quality ingredients and botanical elements. Their line of makeup is made with natural ingredients free of parabens, non-GMOs, non-toxic, no gluten, eco-friendly, animal cruelty free, no nanoparticles, no bismuth oxychloride, no carmine colorants, no FD and C artificial colorants, no artificial fragrances, no artificial preservatives, they only use naturally derived preservatives. And so all those things are huge check marks in my book and the coverage is insanely good. I can't even tell you. As you can see here, the yellow basedness of this medium concealer is just making redness in my face disappear. It is a really good quality concealer. I want to say the best natural concealer I have ever used. And since shooting this video, I've actually bought a full size concealer. Now the samples may look like they're tiny. They're actually smaller than a penny. I received the full size package probably three or four days ago and I'm still using the sample such a little amount goes such a long way so I highly recommend this this concealer has won numerous green beauty awards the full size is $24 and comes in a glass container which can be recycled so that's a huge plus and the sample set is $6 aloe vera and avocado oil are spotlighted in this concealer for their ability to calm redness and soothe irritated skin and aloe also blocks ultraviolet rays by 30% so definitely highly recommend this concealer Okay, next up, I'm just going to come in with my regulars that I really love already. I will leave down in the description box um, a list of all the products I use in this video. I'm going to quickly go through this because I've shown it in lots of videos, but I'm just going to take the Alima Pure Satin Matte Foundation in Beige 3 and get the rest of my skin. I just concealed in my T-zone area, and then I really like this Satin Matte Foundation. It's my absolute favorite. I've been using it since the beginning. It matches my skin tone really, really well. And I'm just going in with their bronzer from Trinidad and also a Zuzu Luxe Blush. And moving on to eyebrows, um, I am going to just brush my eyebrows up here. This is the full size eyebrow definer in the color Espresso. This is what it looks like. Um, I've just been digging out a little bit. I've had a little bit of problem with this. I've had a couple days where the entire color has just fallen out and I'm trying to show you here in the video, but of course it doesn't want to fall out. So some days it falls out, some days it doesn't. I'm just taking the edge of my angled brush here and I'm just getting a tiny amount and putting it on the back of my hand and I'm using that as kind of a palette. I had forgotten how wonderful it is to do your eyebrows with an angled brush because I've been using pencils for so long, probably the last year. But using an angled brush and this eyebrow definer really gives you very much control. You have the ability to really kind of brush hair strokes in there, which is really, really nice. And what's wonderful about this particular eyebrow definer is that it's defining my eyebrows, but they still look natural. They don't look painted on. The color for me is absolutely perfect. It's like the perfect match. And I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I do have to say right now, I feel that this is the best a natural eyebrow definer that I have used. It stays on really, really well. It has castor oil in it. It has jojoba oil in it, which are really both really great for eyebrow growth. Um, so I have really wonderful things to say about it. Of course, I'm going to go through the entire little pot there and see how it goes. Mine seem kind of dry. So if anybody else has tried this out there, let me know if yours seemed dry as well. And even though it seems dry, if I dip my little angled brush in a little bit of water before I apply, I don't have any problem at all. So right now I'm just coming back in with a separate angled brush and I am using the Hint Concealer under the eyebrows and around the eyebrow just to clean up any areas that I may have made a mistake. I don't do this all the time, but it does give a really beautiful definition to your eyebrows before you put your eye makeup on. So you might wanna try that or skip the step, whatever works for you. Now I'm coming in with some eye colors from Mother Bear's Handmade. I've done a full video on this, which I will link down in the description below. I can't say enough wonderful things about her colors. They're just really perfect and vegan and very minimally 
produced um, and I'm really, really pleased with them. And guys, can I get a round of applause for putting on my liquid liner with one hand because I have graduated from makeup kindergarten and I'm so very happy about it. Okay, I'm just putting on a little bit of mascara here and finishing up the eyes and next up we will head over to lips. I'm lining my lips with On Naturals Innocence Lip Liner and I just chose this lip liner because it's very similar to the lip gloss that I'm going to be using by Hint and um, I just thought it would give a nice definition underneath the lip gloss. So here is the lip gloss in Un Femme Mauve and normally if you've been following me for a while you know how much I hate mauve yet I would not call this color mauve in the slightest. It has a very bright kind of pink natural shade to it. It's uh, really beautiful. I actually bought the full size because I liked it so, so much. And the full size comes in a tube and it has a really soft wand, just in case you're wondering, <laughs> um, and you don't need to use your fingers. So now I'm just coming in with a little bit of natural hairspray on a little spoolie, and this is the way I'm going to go ahead and set my brows. So I just brush them up the eyebrow definer is actually really good at keeping the brows in place. I just have one or two hairs that always want to go down. And now I'm just taking that same spoolie with a little bit of hairspray. And this is a trick that I always use if I need to quickly put my hair up. And um, I just keep a little spoolie in my purse. As you can see right there, it just smooths any flyaways or any mess ups that I've done. And I always think it's such a nice way to keep a, a bun or a top knot or a ponytail really, really polished. And there you have it. Those are my thoughts on Hint Beauty. I've bought all of these products in full size since shooting this video and I'm really happy with them. Very beautiful colors, completely vegan, very natural, and I'm really pleased. So let me know if you've tried these and I will talk to you down below.